Now to your consumer watch. Even with record low unemployment levels, millions of Americans still are struggling to find work. Indeed, you know, they may have criminal records or other barriers, but a business in New York is showing what can happen when people are given a chance. CBS News Miami's Bradley Blackburn explains. At Grayston Bakery in Yonkers, New York, Will Dickerson's job is quality assurance, making sure every brownie meets the standards. We're talking a lot of brownies. A lot of brownies. They bake millions of pounds every year, brownies that go in Ben and Jerry's ice cream and sell directly to consumers. CEO Joe Kenner says every brownie has a purpose. You say you don't hire people to bake brownies. Yes, that's right. We don't hire people to bake brownies. We bake brownies to hire people. Grayston was founded decades ago with a promise to hire anyone who wants to work. What they call open hiring means jobs are filled first come, first serve. If you're the next person on the list, you're hired automatically. No questions asked, no background checks, no interviews. Through the Grayston Foundation, they're now helping other businesses use the strategy because the need is enormous. Millions of Americans have stopped looking for work, many with criminal records or other barriers, but with potential to be loyal employees. It makes you work even harder because they gave you that chance. And so you want to make sure you do your best. Dickerson served 11 years in prison for selling drugs. Grayston gave this father and grandfather his QA job and a way to lift his own standard of living. And now I have an apartment, my own, I have a car, <laughs> and I'm happy, really happy. Should we split it? That works. Okay. <laughs> Proud of his progress, not to mention those brownies. And it makes other people happy too. It makes them real happy. <laughs> a sweet reward from a bakery that nurtures souls. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, Yonkers, New York. Travel. All right, so a new documentary tells the story of Grayston's 43-year history and how it was founded by a Zen Buddhist monk. The film narrated by Jeff Bridges is called Zen Brownie. What an opportunity, though, right? Yeah, because it is such a struggle. You, you hear from a lot of people that maybe had a past, mm -hmm. and it wasn't so good, and these second chances are... And there's are, no barrier to entry. If you're yeah. on that list, you're going to get a job. Amazing. Well, we are just getting started this morning.